So what we were going to do is we were going to explain to you all why Joe Wadding was going to commit to Notre Dame and what he might like about Notre Dame. But we figured, you know, might be a better idea is just let Joe explain why he committed to Notre Dame. So with that in mind, we have Joe Odding on the show, everybody. Uh, Joe, thank you so much for joining us, buddy. Congratulations. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate y'all having me. Yeah, of course. So, I mean, this has been a whirlwind for you. I mean, you got your offer little, barely over a month ago. Yep. And now here you are, June 7th, Notre Dame is the school. What was it about Notre Dame? What was it about this last month or so that made you say, hey, this is the move for me? You know, growing up as a kid, you know, growing up in a Catholic community, uh, I go to Catholic high school right now. Um, Notre Dame's kind of always been a dream school of mine. Um, we wear the blue and gold as well at the high school. And so just coming on, just growing up and wanting to play for the Fighting Irish is always something I've wanted to do. And uh, finally getting that uh, opportunity is just something crazy to me. And uh, it's been great. That's why I committed. You're, I mean, you're a redhead, right? So, I mean, the, the red's going to show. <laughs> but, like, I, you, you and I talked about 10 minutes ago, and you were still red. You're glowing. You're clearly excited, man. What's it? What was yeah. it like the minute that you just decided that, you know what, this is going to do, and then, you know, talk to the staff and let them know, like, okay, like, we're, we're doing this? You know, it was a big relief off my shoulder. You know, this recruiting process is very stressful. Um, very blessed to be in it, of course. But just finally having that commitment is just – Big relief, and I'm pumped about it. Joe, let me so, ask you this. Go ahead, Ryan. Because I, I know that Coach Heastan, from talking to you a little bit in the past, was a big element to this recruitment, right? And obviously when he came to the visit and just kind of was able to meet you in person for the first time, I think things really started to heat up then, obviously, right right um, after you got the offer. Take us through your relationship with Coach Heastan and how instrumental he's been throughout this process for you. Yeah, he's been great. You know, we stay in touch. uh periodically throughout the week um have a phone call about every week and it's always good talking to him just the knowledge for the game he has and his history of just developing linemen and the history of uh offensive line units he's had it's just something to be said for and that's why i really love him and I'm excited to play for him no doubt yeah, and I know well, I love this is my see... Ryan real quick. I'm sorry. This is yeah. my favorite response so far. This has kind of been you know speaking to coach Eastan, this is the deal. If Harry likes you, I love you. So <laughs> I, I think getting that seal approval from Coach E Stan was 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 a big part of that. Ryan, go ahead with your next question with your follow-up. Yeah, no, I, I was just gonna say, Joe, obviously you got to see Coach E Stan in action this past weekend, obviously. See him coach a little bit, see some of his star pupils of the past, right? Which I know is obviously a big thing for coming to Notre Dame. Talk to me about seeing him in person, coaching live, seeing some of the greats that have come through Notre Dame. How big of an impact was this past weekend for you from that regard? Yeah, it was big. You know, being taught by Zach Martin was huge. It was great being uh, coached up by him and just um, seeing how instructive they all are and the technique and everything. It was, it was great. Um, I learned a lot, and I'm very glad I went. So what were some of the things when you talk about kind of working with Coach Eastan and working with Zach Martin? Is it what were some things that you kind of say, okay, I'm watching these guys, I'm working with these guys, these are some of the best to do it. What were some of the things you were able to pick up that you say, okay, look, when I go home and I get ready for fall camp and I go to my senior season, these are things I'm going to try to take and apply to my game as I continue to develop as a player. Yeah. So the Notre Dame camp is they taught what Notre Dame does, and not a lot of camps do that. And so learning just the inside zone technique and run blocking and also just the pass sets, you know, it was good learning them from single handedly from Zach Martin and Coach Easton. And so I'm definitely going to use that this summer to develop and turn it into my uh, bag I have as a player. Now, Joe, I'm not sure if you'll be able to answer this question, but, or if there was a moment, but as you kind of go through this process, you know, you met Coach Easton in the school, you you go through the last month, you get the offer and the camp and all that. Was there a moment where it where you just kind of knew like, okay, this is what I'm doing, or did it did it kind of slowly build to that? What was that moment like when you just knew like, okay, this is the move? Um, it kind of slowly built up. You know, Notre Dame was always the dream offer uh, in my process, and so when Tom when Coach Reese kind of came through, uh, that was awesome. And then once once Coach Stan came to school and just talking to him. And just, as I said before, there's knowledge of the game and just um, what he brings to the table is just something to be said for. And so, yeah, that's what that's what I said. I know. Joe, I, I, things... got a, I got the ability to uh, – sorry, Brian, go ahead. 
No, go go for it, man. Oh, no, I was just going to say, Joe, so I talked to Coach Arnold this morning. I know that oh, really? your family is probably very excited. I know he's excited. I know the whole Hayden community there at the high school is excited. Can you talk just a little bit about the excitement from not you, but from the supporting um, – from your support system that's around you? Yeah, it's – something to be said for you know everyone is very excited for me um just the catholic community you know everyone loves notre dame down here so it's very awesome to see and it's a blessing that everyone's uh, happy for me it's awesome uh last question joe i just wanted to ask you this um one of the things we were told is that that you had made your decision but you didn't want to say anything publicly until you had a chance to kind of talk to all the other schools that were were looking at you uh, which I found quite admirable. But what is the challenge as a recruit, not specifically other coaches? What's the because I think a lot of people think like there's just this one school and that's the only school I like, and they don't realize like you know there's a lot of schools that oh, yeah. that you connect with. What what was you know kind of when you look at that? What's this experience been like for you as you've gotten to know you know the forenses and and that O line tradition and Coach Kleiman and his staff at Kansas State? You know there's some really good programs you you've been able to get into. What's this experience overall kind of been like for you as you've been able to connect with some, I mean, there's some really good old offensive line minds that you've had a chance to, to, to get to know through this recruiting process. Yeah. You know, it's been great. It's been a blessing. You know, it's very stressful, but uh, it's cool just going around, seeing all the places, you know, you meet a lot of good people through this process. So saying no to a lot of these schools was pretty tough, but, you know, uh, talking with coach Barnett was awesome. You know, his mentors, coach Heastan, and just the whole Iowa um, staff is it's great, no doubt. And then kind of K-State, it was the same thing. You know, I've been they've been with me from the start, and um, I appreciate everything they've done, no doubt. And But it's been a very exciting process, and I'm very blessed to be a part of it, no doubt. Well, Joe, thank you so much for joining us. Any, any last words you'd like to leave uh, Notre Dame Nation? They're all over here fired up, you know, talking about you and all that. Anything you'd like to leave uh, leave Notre Dame Nation here before you head out of here and and uh, get to celebrating your your big day? Yeah, telling telling Notre Dame Nation, I'm bringing athleticism, a strong work ethic, work work ethic, a toughness and competitive mentality, and a player that's ready to roll. Let's go. And what he's not going to tell you is the kid can flat out hoop. <laughs> Got that from his mom. Yeah, so dropped 15 and a half points per game last year. Did not know your mom actually let me know. She was a college basketball player. So, you know, yeah. definitely comes in the genes. So uh, if uh, Notre Dame students, if you're looking for someone to pick up your intramural <laughs> basketball team, this is a guy you're going to want to get. 6'4", but he can also drop knock down threes and he can post oh, you yeah. up. He can do all of it. So uh, yes, <laughs> had, had to yes, make sir. you smile, Joe. Thanks so much for being <laughs> on with us, buddy. Yes, sir. No problem. I appreciate you all having me. Thanks, yep, Joe. Take care.